US Air Force jets will defend themselves with a new weapon designed to take out anti-aircraft missiles before they hit them. The weapon is a small interceptor missile and Raytheon is currently working on this. Viewers may note that Raytheon was awarded the contract to deliver the first interceptor missile for flight testing by 2023 as part of the Miniature Self-Defense Missile or MSDM program. The Air Force Research Laboratory Munitions Directorate had taken up the initiative in 2015 and Raytheon got the better of Boeing and Lockheed Martin to clinch the deal. The contract's worth $375 million. This could pave the way for hard-kill protection for the jets. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how U.S. jets will counter incoming enemy missiles with miniature self-defense missiles. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Over the years, missile tech has improved significantly. At present, several beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles are available that can hit aircraft from long ranges. For example, Chinese PL-15 American AIM-120D and European Meteor have the capability to take down aircraft from a range of about 100 miles or 160 kilometers. Similarly, integrated long-range air defense systems make it difficult for a fighter jet to penetrate well-protected airspace. One of the best specimens will be Russian S-400. S-400 Triumph is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau in the 1990s as an upgrade to the S-300 family. It has been in service with the Russian Armed Forces since 2007. It is designed to defend against aircraft including fifth-generation stealth fighters, bombers, AWACS, cruise missiles and even ballistic missiles. S-400 can track hundreds of targets at a time, engage up to 36 targets in parallel and simultaneously launch 72 missiles and can engage a target at a distance of up to 250 miles or 400 kilometers. Importantly, air-to-air -air or ground-to-air missiles are far cheaper than a fighter jet. So even if a barrage of these is used to take out a single jet, it is still a good proposition. Also, another goal of MSDM would be to protect high-value asset aircraft HVAA such as airborne early warning and control aircraft, tankers and large cargo aircraft. The HVAA are even more vulnerable to advanced air-to-air -air missiles and long-range surface-to-air missiles since they are a bigger target, are slower and can't maneuver rapidly. Currently, fighter jets are limited to passive defenses against incoming missiles. Pilots can take high-G evasive maneuvers to shake the missile off its back, fire flares to distract an infrared missile seeker, or launch strips of aluminum foil known as chaff to confuse a missile guided by radar. But these methods are not very dependable against modern missiles. For example, the Meteor missile developed by MBDA, which has a range of 150 kilometers or 93 miles, is capable of engaging fast, agile jets to small unmanned aerial vehicles as well as cruise missiles in extreme weather conditions. Meteor has excellent aerodynamics and propulsion performance enabling it to pull off intense turn angles when pursuing an agile target like a modern super maneuverable fighter. The missile has a no escape zone of 60 kilometers or about 38 miles. Clearly the effectiveness of the passive defense system will reduce in the coming days.
According to a US DOD press release, the MSDM will support miniaturized weapon capabilities for air superiority by enabling close-in platform self-defense and penetration into contested A2AD that is anti-access area denial environment with little or no impact to payload capacity. It was added, contractor will work to increase the number of missiles carried on a single sortie, increase the effectiveness of each missile, and enhance the platform survivability against all threats in an anti-access area denial environment. Miniature Self-Defense Missile or MSDM is conceptualized to be a kinetic weapon that will be capable of homing in on an incoming missile and taking it out by ramming it in mid-flight. The task is complex since a missile is small when compared to an aircraft and would potentially be coming in at a speed of around Mach 4 or more. This is like hitting a bullet with another bullet. A similar idea is being implemented to protect main battle tanks. Israel has Trophy for Merkava and Russia is developing Afghanit Active Protection System for T-14 Armada. As of now, Raytheon has not provided any details regarding how it intends to achieve this. The missile is expected to be pretty small. Air Force Research Laboratory or AFRL briefing slides points to extremely agile, highly responsive. It will likely be a meter long, which makes it one-third the size of an AIM-9X Sidewinder, which is currently one of the smallest air-to-air -air missiles in the US inventory. It's plausible that each jet would carry three to six of these interceptors. When a fighter gets an incoming missile warning through its self-defense suit, it will fire MSDM. MSDM will most likely be guided by the fighter's radar in the initial part of the flight and in the terminal phase it could use its own sensors to home in on the target. The sensor could be some form of imaging infrared seeker which would enable the missile to detect and track incoming missiles that are immune to electronic warfare jamming. MSDM will be the last line of defense for a fighter when everything else fails. The US has always been at the forefront when it comes to innovative weapon systems. For example, America was the first one to develop a stealthy jet. This has kept the US ahead of the rivals and is exactly what's being tried now. While the idea seems difficult to implement, we need to take into account that Raytheon has the expertise to pull it off. Though MSDM will not provide 100% protection, it will certainly decrease the effectiveness of air defense systems and air-to-air -air missiles. This will help American tacticians to plan the missions with more freedom and potentially enable US Air Force to penetrate airspace which would have been prohibitively risky earlier. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.